Human body is like a machine. Like any other machine, it needs power. While we go through so much trouble to generate power from other machines, our body can use crops, biscuits, candy, fruits, etc. to generate the power we need in a fascinating way. Most of the food we eat are complex substances like car, runs on diesel, petrol, gasoline, etc. only. Our body runs on certain types of fuel. Our body can do things that other machines cannot do, like repair itself, grow in size. Means our body is constantly building itself, changing itself, and for all those, body needs power and some substances like amino acid, carbohydrate fat, folic acid, etc. as raw materials. Our body breaks down food to get those raw materials. These substances that provide nourishment essential for maintenance of body and for growth are called nutrients. Whenever we eat something, our body treats that food with heat and chemical to break it down into those nutrients and that process is known to us as digestion. Our body as well as any other living organism's body produce certain kind of chemical called enzyme which causes the biochemical reaction that breaks down the food. Heat chemical sounds like a chemical plant. Our body is indeed like a chemical plant. The moment we take first bite of any food, saliva glands release saliva which is full of chemicals. Saliva contains antibacterial chemicals and enzymes which help in breaking down starch, one kind of carbohydrate. Chewing washes the food and mixing with saliva makes it moist and slippery. This food mass is now called bolus. This bolus slips down the food pipe or esophagus to reach the stomach. Stomach welcomes it with gastric juice that kills most of the germs in it. This gastric juice mainly has hydrochloric acid, potassium chloride and sodium chloride. Stomach also produces enzymes, gastric lipage, breaks down fat molecules into fatty acid. Pepsin enzyme breaks down protein into smaller particles like peptide fragment and amino acid. Digestion is not over but our food is now a thick liquid it is called chyme. Then food enters the small intestine. Don't get fooled by the name. It's like a 20 feet long pipe. It has so much chemicals to offer that it will put a real chemical plant to shame. The first part of small intestine is called duodenum. When food enters duodenum, your pancreas releases digestive juice full of enzymes that can help in breaking down carbohydrate, protein, fat. That juice reaches duodenum through a duct. Your gallbladder squeezes out bile juice released by liver. It also reaches duodenum through a duct. Bile helps in breaking down fat. Small intestine also produces enzymes itself like maltase that works on carbohydrate, peptidases that works on protein. Our food is now liquid, full of simple substances that our body can use directly. There are small finger-like parts in the inner wall of small intestine that absorbs this liquid. They are called veli. Veli is full of capillaries, means those nutrients are now in bloodstream, going to different body parts where those would be used to repair tissues or produce many other chemicals or nourish tissues or produce energy. Many people say our body is like a machine. 
or a chemical plant, but it is more fascinating than anything we can ever hope to build. So take care of your body. That's all.